What's up guys? So after much grinding, we got the third quest for Ember unlocked. Guys, I really hope you guys appreciate these videos because it has taken quite some time to grind these characters so that we can unlock their quests. Now in the previous video, which uh, uh, was the, uh, the third video for Isabel's quest, we looked at what quests are left in each of these companions quest lines and it turns out there's one more for each so after we do this one she's gonna have one more quest to do and then after that uh we're, we have one more to do for uh for isabel as well so between this one and the next two videos there's just three videos left in these two series so i'm really excited to jump into this one guys so just so you guys know um, I said this in the previous video, Isabel's third video. To unlock the third quest, you have to gain 2,750 companion rapport so that you can unlock this quest. I'll show you on her inventory or in her menu uh, exactly where it falls under so you guys know exactly where it's at so you guys can gauge where exactly you guys need to be for you guys to unlock this quest. So. Enough yapping, let's go ahead and talk to her and see what this third quest is all about. Hi, Amber. You remember Jakam, right? I do. I a letter from him. I see that thing. It's probably hard to hold a pen in those big mitts of his. Anyway. Apparently he's made good on his promise to research the mercenaries to grab him, Silver, Sleep, and Song. So, does Jaka have a new lead for tracking down Silvership and Song? Possibly. He found someone who may recognize the badge on the mercenary armor that he remembers. If he's right, that may lead us right to the bastards who took them. It was a long time ago, sure. But this is more information than I've ever had. I'm willing to bet we're going to find uh, Song first. And then we're going to find out that Silvership is the bad person because of the events that happened in the previous video, guys. If you guys haven't been keeping up with these videos, definitely check it out because uh, there's some suspicion going on. So what can I do to help? Jaka said we should wait until he knows something for sure, but I don't want to sit around. Jaka is in Marbrook in Greenshade. I want to go there and talk to him. Maybe there's something we can do to expedite things. Come with me? Yeah, of course. I'll go uh, to Marbrook w uh, with you. To talk to Jaka. Once we find Jaka in Marlborough, I'm sure he'll have something for us to do. He told me to be patient, but he knows me well enough to know that's like asking him to change his stripes. I've been patient for a long time. I'm done with that. How does Jaka know how to track down these mercenaries? He did small jobs for them sometimes, if the pay was all right and the work wasn't too unsavory. I think before we met up, he may have been with one group or another. Not much to his liking, I think. He never fit in with that type. <laughs> Too soft-hearted. Okay. You don't know anything about his past uh, before you met him? What about the other two? Look, people end up living on the streets for a lot of reasons. You don't cry. Sometimes you learn something in passing. But if the person has your back in tough spots, their past isn't that important. Though, I wonder if that was wise. Okay. What do you mean? <clears throat> I've always wondered, what if it was one of our past that caught up to us that day? That's why my friends were taken. What if it was my past? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but in the absence of any other information, it kind of haunts me. Remind me what we're doing? Sure. You're helping me track down my friends that I had growing up in Skywatch. They all disappeared one day, and I had no idea what happened to them until you and I found Jaka. But Silversleep and Song are still out there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did Jakar tell us uh, about the day he disappeared? He said that a mercenary group grabbed him and the others, and he remembered the symbol on their armor. That's how he tracked down our next lead. He also said something about remembering Silver Sleep acting strange, but wasn't sure why. That's the suspicion I was just talking about. Okay, goodbye. And hello. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, just to kind of reiterate what I was talking about a second ago, uh, I'm at 2,774, but at 2,750 is where you need to be to unlock this quest. As soon as you unlock close in her rapport, 
is where you get this quest. So it looks right about there. Guys, the next one is pretty far down there. So, yeah. All right, so off to Marbrook we go. There's a way shrine right over here. That we can just run and grab real quick. Luckily, I know exactly where Marbrook is. I... No, I am about to say, I don't know where Marbrook is. I knew it was in the AD side. She... What are we looking for again? Oh yeah, that's right, Marbrook. Duh, the main city. This is where you go to buy stuff from vendors and stuff. Because there's like a big cluster of them right here, right by the way shrine. Hey! Talk to me! Why can't I talk to her? There we go. No, not the way shrine. Okay, Ember, get over here, please. There we go. I think I like Marbrook. Lots of Khajiit here, by the looks of it. Come on, we need to find Jaka. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> Big guy like him won't be hard to spot. Any idea where to look for Jaka? We should probably check out the local outlaw's <coughs> refuge. He's probably laying low, just in case. People what? like me and Jaka tend to feel safer in places like that. She's so bad. What do you mean? I mean, I wouldn't exactly call us outlaws. But my friends and I were never fussy about how or where we got our food and coin. Outlaws refuges tend to attract people with similar mindsets, is all. Okay, it makes sense. So the Outlaws Refuge, where is that exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well. I guess I... I guess I know where it's at now. Are we going to race? Well, Are, I like her. She's into racing. Too bad we don't have any freaking V8s or anything like that. Hey, Jaka. You are predictable, Ember. I knew you would not wait for me to write again. What can I say? <laughs> I haven't changed a bit. Talk to our friend here about what you found out. I'm going to watch our backs. Dude, she is tiny compared to him. Look at that. She's literally half his size. Interesting. It is good <clears throat> to see you again, cherished friend. Because of you and Ember, this one has been allowed to rest and recover here in Marbrook. Jaka feels strong once more. This one assumes you are here about the information about the mercenaries. Yeah, I mean, Ember said you had uh, have a lead about the mercenaries who kidnapped you? Indeed. They were called Kestrin's Blades. Curiously, hmm. they disbanded some time not long after we were accosted by them in Skywatch. Though they no longer operate, this one found the name of one of their captains, Gurus. What can you tell me about gurus? <laughs> Not very much, sadly. But this one does know he currently lives near Stone Tooth Fortress in Betnik. If he was a captain of the Kestrin Blades, he may know where they took Silver Slip and Song, and why. This one is hopeful. Okay, Ember and I will head to Betnik and look for gurus. <laughs> this one hopes you find more answers in Betnik. Speak to gurus. See what he can tell you. And take care of Ember. The responsibility of such a task wears on her. Jaka can tell. Make sure she does not whittle herself down to nothing. I will. Did you have any trouble getting out of Vardenfell? No. Even after all this time, this one still remembers how to sneak about and move unnoticed. I traveled in darkness. And with the gold Ember provided, eventually bought passage on a boat to Skywatch. I found Brisha, and eventually, he sent me here. Why here? Without the others, Skywatch did not feel the same to Jaka. Bad memories, perhaps. But, with coin and some easy work, I can stay warm and eat regularly here. I had time to search for information about the mercenaries. This one hopes it is helpful. Okay, well, Ember and I will investigate. This one hopes you find more answers in Betnik. Speak to Gurus. See what he can tell you. And take care of Ember. The responsibility of such a task wears on her. Jaka can tell. Make sure she does not whittle herself down to nothing. Yeah. Are you safe here in Marbrook, Jaka? Do you have a place to stay? You need not worry so much, little sister. You'll end up with even more white hair. Jaka is fine. Is that it? 
Nope, my game crashed. Oh, I thought my game crashed. Whoa, that was close. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting all messed up here. Yeah, dude, I, th I really thought my game crashed. It almost did, it looks by the looks of it. All right, so Bethnik, he said, right? Bethnik is that little... No, that's Malfoy, and I always think that's Bethnik. Or is that... It's... Huh. That's High Isle. That's Kinnereth's Roost. Bethnik is here, right? No, that's Belcart. OMG. Where is Bethnik? I'll just do that. Because I can't remember where it's at. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure it's the second starting location for the Daggerfall Covenant. Let me see if I'm right. It is. Because I think you start off... Okay, well, you start off here in Stros Makai. Then you go to Bethnic. And then you go to Glenumbra when you're first starting off. Can't believe I didn't remember that. That's obscene. That's absurd. It's insane. <gasps> Look at all these embers. Who is this? Huh? That's I have a good reason for interrupting my drink. I do have a good reason. Start swaying and talking to me. How am I supposed to take the measure of you? <laughs> it's pretty strong stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I want to keep drinking. Why are you bothering me? I'm retired. Leave me to drink in peace. You know. In, uh, Isabel's third quest that was a very intoxicated man. It's kind of funny that Ember's third quest also has an intoxicated man. I need information about an old band of mercenaries, Kestrin's Blades. Yeah, yeah. More like Kestrin's farts. <laughs> band was doomed from the day we joined up together. Ah! I know it well, stranger. I was one of the captains. But what of it? I told you I'm retired. Blissfully retired and drunk. Well, Kestrin's Blades uh, did a job in Skywatch. You grabbed three people. A Palmar and two young women. Uh, a Palmar? And, uh, yeah, well, uh, that does sound a bit familiar. My head is too fuzzy. You expect me to remember something that far back when I've been drinking all day? Piss off, <laughs> you and your three friends back there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That's funny. I've got an idea of how we can sober this guy up. Okay, how is that? If we can sober Gurus up, he might be able to tell us where they took Silver Slip and some. But we're going to need a pretty powerful concoction. There should be some sour algae near the shore. I can make a brew that'll singe his eyebrows off. Sour algae? Magister Irin told me this one, believe it or not. It's technically alchemy, but that's just another form of magic to me. Sour algae smells and tastes terrible, but if you mix it right, it makes even the drunkest toths clear-headed. Uh, how much do we need? Two handfuls of the stuff should do it. We don't need much. Trust me, once you smell it, you'll understand why. Uh, oops. If we can get oh, oh, I missed it. That was an accident. But it was just one sentence. It's okay. Not a huge deal. Sometimes I... My fat fingers just click buttons. Away! How far is the shore? My... Well, this is a two super tiny island anyway, so... Let's go. We're at... We actually... We're actually here. Did we fight a boss here? Dude, there's so much resources here. I'm gonna skip them though. For the sake of. Fa oh, wait, there's still more I need to find. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention this before, I am playing with my main character. Just a different build. I have like five or six different builds on this character. That should be enough. <laughs> That's strong. We're going to be stinking like this for a few days. I oh, guarantee. no. But that should be enough for what I need. Ugh. Sometimes I really hate having a keen sense of smell. Now what? 
Now, I do a bit of this, a bit of that, and try not to gag while I work. <laughs> Just give me a moment to whip up the tonic. No worries. Is she gonna do it now? I think I remember how to make this. It's been a while. Ooh. Oh, fish biscuits. The smell is going to make me throw up. <laughs> Almost done. Here, maybe you can carry this. I hate the smell. Okay, sounds good. Sour algae tonic. That sounds disgusting. So back to the uh, orc, right? Yeah, so, like I said, I have like five or six different builds on this character, man. This is my main build. This is the build that I usually go and do, like, veteran dungeons and stuff like that. It doesn't have any, like, quote-unquote meta sets, like, from, from, uh... What are they called? From, uh... Like, raids or anything? But... It works. Good, you're back. What do you want now? Besides powerful assault, I love that set. Yeah. What do you and your blurry friends want now? Uh, I have a drink for you to try. Ha! Why didn't you just say <clears throat> so? Give it here. Oh, this should be interesting. Malakath's crusty arse. What was that? A crusty arse? <laughs> That's funny. Like I've cleared out ten years worth of crud. My mind's sharper than it's ever been. You got any more of that? It could come in handy. What was it you wanted to talk to me about again? Uh, now can you tell us what you remember about the Skywatch job? Yeah, I remember now. I wasn't thrilled with the contract. It came from some secretive group, but the pay was too good to pass up. It seemed easy enough on the surface. Grab a red guard lass and. If her friends were with her, they were fair game. Huh. Do you know what the group wanted with the Red Guard? Nah, they didn't really say. And the Blades do better than to ask. Besides, we got a Palmar and a Wood Elf out of the deal. The Palmar sold for a good bit of coin. The Wood Elf, though, uh, she was trouble. Yeah, I still feel bad about her. What do you mean? We were passing through Shadowfell ran afoul of some vampires. Our leader bargained for peaceful passage and gave her to them as payment. Not far from the shrine of the Black Maw. Wasn't my choice, but I went along with it. And what happened to the Red Guard? No idea. We peeled off from Kestrin's blades before we ever made the trade. Things started falling apart after that job. But if you want to find the wood, <clears throat> try the shrine of the Black Maw. Bloodsuckers are still crawling all over that place. Goodbye. Huh. They handed Silver Slip over to vampires? Bastards. Come on, let's get to Shadowfen. Let's go. Which was the... I, 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 I can't put names to... Well, I mean, I haven't seen any of them, so I can't put names to face to anything. But I know there's a Red Guard, and I know there's a Wood Elf. But I don't know who's who, and that's the sad thing. Okay, so where in Shadowfen is it that we're going? I don't see it on the map. You guys are probably like, dude, it's right there, but I can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to go here. And uh, see if maybe I can see it. Ha! Okay, no. Anyways. Um. Oh, it's right there. So, the closest... I mean, I think we could go here and then just go north. Right? That's probably my best bet. I, I mean, I guess it's worth a try, right? What just happened? Why did it kick me off? I know why. It's because I got back into the way shrine limits. Oh, ESO never change. Well, actually, change so change a little bit. Luckily, my main character is completely maxed out with his horse. Amazing. I have to write magic to Aaron about 
big one. Okay. Do that while we find our way over to this location. How in the hell do I get up there? Am I going the right way? Absolutely not. It's got to be the opposite direction, right? It is. Okay. So the good thing is that I can just take the road whenever I find the road. This way? Yes. So the first left is what I'm trying to do. Here? Bam! I'm good. So it should literally just right be right up ahead. Haha! -ha. Hate this. Got a bad feeling. Let's get inside. I mean, I'm not worried about it. They're just vampires. We can destroy them. No big deal. All right. So we, as always, have to go all the way through this entire dungeon just to figure out. I bet you it's by the boss. I'm willing to bet it's by the boss. Okay. Where are we? There's nobody here. I'm willing to bet somebody's here doing this quest. Dude, everyone's gone. Someone's Wait, definitely here to do the quest. I recognize this journal. <gasps> it's Silver Slips. She always kept it on her. She's been here. That's good. I am not reading that. You guys can push pause and push pause. I'll read that in post. Emma, what are you doing here? <gasps> Silver Slip. You. Oh no. Where is she? Don't you dare pity me, Ember. Meet me outside. We can talk <gasps> there. She's a vampire! With kindness or pity at all. Silver Slip is safe and well, but Silver Slip is also a vampire. I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to feel right now. She's a vampire, dude. I mean, not all vampires are bad, though. So, I mean, I guess... And she didn't seem like she wanted to hurt us. If she did, she would have attacked us right then and there, right? What the hell was that? I mean, I guess the silver lining, though, is I didn't have to do anything to clear this dungeon. Because everybody already did it for me. Not that I needed anybody's help. I'm a tank, so dying definitely isn't an option in a, in a little delve, you know? Silver Slip, where are you? Can you talk to Silver Slip for me? I need a moment to brace myself. I'm sure. Tell me, Ember. I'm not about to lose control. But fine, I'll speak with your friend. I already read about all my secrets already. Oh, now I really feel like I should have read it. I'm definitely gonna read it in post. You read my journal, so now you know all my sordid secrets. Like how this was all my fault. And I'm the one that got my friends taken away. Did you come here to shame me? Well, you're too late. You can't say anything I haven't already told myself. Well, actually, Amber wanted to find you, as a matter of fact. And now you found me. Shall I recount the tale for her? The one where I'm a gullible, foolish child who thought Song's family really missed her, and that I could help reunite them. I should have burned that letter. That's how they found us. So, I mean, I will say this. I was... Well, oh, hold on. Actually, I'll hold that thought for one second. You mentioned the letter in your journal? Indeed. A letter supposedly from Song's heartbroken mother. I read it because I'm an idiot. But I remember a drawing on the parchment. <sighs> Strange eye. It must have been magic. A glyph, maybe? I'm almost certain it's how they tracked us down. Uh, learning more about that glyph might lead us to Song. <clears throat> You might be right. I never looked into it because I thought it was better if everyone assumed I was dead. Then, I wouldn't ever have to face the truth. But deep down, I always knew this day would come. Now that it's here, I want to help. So, I was wrong in thinking that she was the bad guy. Like that she, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that she sold out her friends, you know? 
At least we know who, who that she's the Wood Elf. That means the other one is the Red Guard song. Uh, I'm sure Amber would welcome your help. I always figured it would be Amber who came looking for me. That girl doesn't know when to quit. Go on, talk to her. Apparently, she isn't ready to speak to me. Why didn't you tell your friends about your about the letter? Because I was stupid, all right. I was a dumb, naive kid who thought she knew the world better than everyone else. I never thought it was that big of a deal. I just wanted to help Song, and I didn't think I needed anyone's help. Not good that did. You didn't know what it, what, what would happen? Maybe not. <clears throat> but I should have been smarter. I just wanted Song to have a family who loved her. I wanted a family, a real one, my whole life. And there was one practically begging her to come back. I thought I was doing the right thing. So, you're a vampire now. Noticed that, did you? That's a keen eye you have. Thank you. But yes, I am. It wasn't exactly my choice, but I've learned to accept it. I have people that look out for me now, almost like the old days. It's not unbearable or anything. She's still, even though it's quote unquote not unbearable or anything, she still looks. I mean, look at her. She's sad. She looks like she doesn't want this to be her fate, you know? Let Amber. Me talk to my friend first, Silver Slit. Don't go anywhere. So somebody inboxed me or whispered about the outfit. <laughs> this guy's literally wearing the exact same thing. That's funny. For years, I've carried the guilt of losing my friends. Okay, I really hate it when that happens. There we go. For years, I've carried the guilt of losing my friends. But hearing Silver Slip's story helps a little. I think her burden of guilt is much heavier than mine. How can she bear it? My heart hurts for her. Still, we found her. That's a victory. Yeah, that is a victory. Are you angry with Silver Slip for what happened? Silver Slip made a mistake when she was a kid. Who among us is immune from that? Very true. I'm not angry with her at all. I was a little thrown by seeing her as a vampire, but ultimately I'm just happy she's here and that we're reunited. That That's good. Uh, She might be able to help us find Song. True. It seems like seeing me is giving her the kick she needs. She's been feeling guilty for so long, but now she has a chance to make it up to herself. And she even has the clue to lead us to song. This worked out all around. Nice. So what now? For now, I think we should just be proud of what we accomplished. You helped me find not one, but two of my friends. People I've been searching for for years. And thanks to you, Silver Slip and that strange glyph might lead us to song. Thank you. You're welcome. So we got another letter that I'm going to read, but... The letter that we got from Isabel was super long, so you guys are going to have to bear with me uh, in reading that. I don't expect you to forgive me, Amber. I'm just glad you're alive, Silver Slip. We already found Jakatu. He's in Marlborough. Let me just send LOL back to this guy. Oh, Amber, I'm, I'm different now, but I can still help. Let me atone for all of this. You're the only one who saw that strange eye drawn in the letter. We need you, Silver Slip. We'll find Song together. Let me send word to Jaka before you find him in Marbrook. Just so he's prepared. <laughs> Probably a good idea. I'd hate to scare the stripes off him. Nice! So let's get out of the way, because it always creeps me out when, they're, when two characters are literally inside each other like that. So we got a letter that I want to read, so let's go ahead and read that. It's going to take forever, so again, bear with me, guys. Letter from Ember. Hey, this is going to be a sna uh, a sappy letter. Sorry. I keep saying I'll stop getting all emotional around you, but you're the one who keeps doing nice stuff for me. So really, this is uh, this is your fault. Okay, I understand where you're going with this, but all right. <laughs> anyway, it's it's been really nice having Jaka and Silver Slip back. I thought it would feel strange now that we're older. We've been through so much. Silver Slip's a vampire. Jakaz a slave was a slave. I was afraid we wouldn't know uh, how to talk to each other anymore. But we went back to normal straight away. 
It's like we're kids again and nothing has changed. Silverslip teases the two of us and Jaka meditates uh, while eating a concerning amount of cheese pies. He prays for you, you know. You're the one who gets, uh, who got us here after all. There isn't a day that goes by that we uh, don't manage to fit your name into a conversation somehow. Whether you like it or not, you're part of this little family now. And once we get Song back, we'll be whole. But it's more than that. You've given me something I didn't think could be replaced. For so long after everyone got taken, I was just wandering consistently, looking over my shoulder, feeling like I had a gaping hole in my chest. I thought that... <coughs> I thought that was just how life was going to be. Figured if I could keep learning magic, it would at least distract me from how pathetic it was. But then you and I got close, and I managed to open up to you about my friends. And it's like you've dug into a uh, into that hole in my chest and pulled out some of that hurt. You've never seemed to get tired. You keep risking your life again and again to keep my friends uh, to help my friends, people you don't even know, you put yourself in danger for me, and I promise I didn't take that light. I don't take that for ground. Granted, I know I joke around a lot, and I give you a hard time. Occasionally, all right, maybe more than occasionally, but I'm being serious here. Not only did you save the two of my uh, two of my friends, but you reminded me. Uh, what it's like to feel happy. Now I'm here, reunited with Silverslip and Jaka, getting closer every day to find Song feeling stronger than ever. And I just, I really can't thank you enough. Even writing it down doesn't seem, uh, doesn't do it justice. Guess I'll just have to show you how grateful I am by being at your side, whether you need me, right? Wherever you need me, right? Uh, let's see when you want to hang out with these two troublemakers. Silverslip has been running her mouth about wanting to arm wrestle you, so be ready for that. Thanks again, really, Ember. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. Troublemaker, but super sweet. Uh... Huh. Okay. So, I guess more grinding. We have one final quest for Ember. And it's gonna be another major grind for me, guys. So, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and continue this grind then.